Hello and welcome back to Feed the Beast with me, Mr. Sarrett. So we left off last episode having just built the pulverizer. Of course we need something to run the pulverizer. So that's where this fella comes in. The Sterling engine. It's basically just, I suppose, a kind of a um, steam engine, really. Runs off uh, coal or some kind of fuel. I've got a bit of charcoal making at the moment. So that'll be useful. I'm probably going to be running most of these off charcoal just because it's so much easier to get and yes, yeah, so much more available. One of the few things I can do with the fir wood is turn it into charcoal. But anyway, what we're going to need first of all for our sterling engine is our piston. Hopefully I've got the right kind of wood. And a little bit of stone. There we go, that's the piston done. So our piston, actually, first of all we need the gears. Two stone gears. That's two wooden gears. And put the stone around it. Two stone gears. Piston there. Three stone up there. One piece of glass there. And there's our engine. Very good. Now we need somewhere to put it. Which means I'll need a shovel. Shall also need a chest. Or two. Or a shovel, where's all my wood? I've got stacks of this stuff. And... Oh, I don't need one of you. Which I probably could do with a few more tools over here. We'll get there. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I did have to go back up topside in order to get the wood. Whilst I was there, I brought down a few extra little bits and pieces, some carrots and potatoes, which I have already planted, so... Oh, there's a potato there. Three potatoes and... Did something fall down here? No, it didn't. Oh, yay. I've been stomping on them a fair bit. Also brought down some resin, some clay, which I'll be needing in a little while. Uh, well, I brought the tree tap down, I didn't need to. A few books. We're not going to stay down here, I just wanted to have those things nice and close. But for now, we need somewhere for our sterling engine to go. I think right here will do nicely. Well, I'm sure there's better spots to put it, but this little corner here is where I'm going to put it. Now here's a little trick with gravel. All this gravel obviously is going to fall down. Just put two torches there. Well, only needs one, but one per side. As it hits the torch, it uh, turns into a block. Nice, quick and easy way of getting rid of it. Let's light that corner up. Okay, so... We'll whack the pulverizer down there. Engine down here. This here, I must admit I don't use it all that often, but one of the one of the um, more useful little tools to come with the pulverizer. Basically, what it is, color coded. So blue is on this side. So blue anything to go into this spot here you have come into this spot, this side, on the uh, pulverizer. So you can switch them around. Which I probably shouldn't have done, but yeah, so you can have things come in whichever side you want, pretty much. Which is very useful. So red's going to come out on this side, which... We'll see if the chest can work like that. Next we need some charcoal. 
a switch we're going to need. Yeah, we've got the stuff for that. And we have got lead ore. Don't really know what it's for, but we'll use it. Lever. Oops. So we can turn it on and off. Now it works very much like a macerator. It needs to build up energy stored yet. It needs to start building up. It's got a long way to go before it's at max power use. Just the one sterling engine. But yeah, it works pretty much like a just like a, a macerator. Or macerator. Big difference is this little spot down the bottom here. Now I'm also relatively new to the pulverizer, but it's from what I can tell it's a like a special slot. You have a chance of producing uh, an extra item in here. I could be wrong. We'll wait and find out. Oh, we've already got some go through. Pulverized lead. Let's see this. One goes down, two go in. Very good. We're going to have to have a look at things we can use the lead for. One thing we need. Yeah. One thing we will need though is a furnace. And I'm going to give this one a go. A powered furnace. Well, this is why I need to bring the clay down with me. Not too difficult to make. Uh, I'm going to need another spot here. And here, may as well. Oh, good enough. And that'll be for... Ooh. Cooking up some clay. There we go. What else do we need? Well, we need redstone and gold. Do I have any gold smelted? I do not. You there. Make gold. Oh, I need to grab my redstone out. Actually, I'm going to need an extra one of those. An extra one of those. Because I will need another sterling engine. So we've got that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Covered. Two copper. An extra redstone. Four more glass. Another piece of gold. Ugh. Should have got this ready before, shouldn't I? Where's my useless wood? Need a fair bit of the clay. So, what was it? We need more glass. I need to go get some more sand. I need all four of you. Let's go get some sand. Need at least three more, but... I'll, uh... Consider grabbing more than three. Oh, almost went the wrong way. I'm going to put some signs down, I think, so I know which <laughs> which way is which. Every time I come up here, the zombies are attacking the villagers. Oh, that's right. We're going to let water in. The gravel ready. Six. Seven. Gravel. Whoa. Eight. Eight, yep. Always work in eights just because that's what coal works in. Or charcoal. One charcoal burns eight. Eight or smelts eight or cooks eight items. Therefore, eight. 
charcoal or coal will smelt six a stack of sixty four. Let's start getting some of this built. Start with you. First brick and I think it was only two of those that we needed. Put you away. Yep, I need a copper. Put some copper down from the top. And found it in the uh, blacksmith. Three of you, that's what we need. Powered furnace, do I have... I need this. Oops. And my iron. There we go, is that everything? Oops. It is, a powered furnace. Now, whilst I'm here, another sterling engine, which will need a piston, and I hope I've got the right kind of wood. I don't think I can use the fir wood for it. And it looks to be the only type I have. I need more than two of that. I've got the iron. Redstone. Another piece of redstone. Yeah, it's this wood here that's going to be the tricky part. Because I'm pretty sure I can't use the fir wood. I'm hoping I'm wrong. I am wrong. Oh, well, there you go, a recipe that that fir wood can be used for. I know a lot of other recipes I've tried in the past that it hasn't worked for, so... A little bit uh, hesitant to even bother using it. Obviously I shouldn't have been. You there, you... I... I'm out of glass. You two there, you there, piece of glass there, and three stone there. Excellent. And... don't need the gravel there. I'm also going to make a wrench. I will need it. I do not have the... iron ore for it, so... Whack you in there. You know what I should make? So much to do. A hopper. So I'll need another chest. Another stone gear and some more iron. Oh yeah, we've got it all. There's our chest. Need a few more sticks. Oh, didn't need so many, but we got it now. Whack you in there. Uh, what else? I needed the iron. Pulverized iron. There we go. Charcoal, one of you in there. Two. It's starting to move along nicely. Three, four. She just realised. Where did I put that wooden gear? I think I will need another one of those. Very soon. There's a bit of a delay between them getting there to the chest. And sometimes it looks like you've lost it. Now, is this the recipe I'm after? It is. A wrench. Now, this wrench can be used to move these items. Uh, like the sterling engine. It's not going to move now because there's nothing for it to move to. If I had the powered furnace up here, 
that's where it would move to. But it's not going to right now. Still thought I'd have one. Okay, so we might change you to red. So red can also come out the top. And blue comes in from the bottom. Orange is you is going to be another chest. Keeping you for my other little project. The hopper, that is. Which is absolutely pointless right now. Oh yeah, it is working. It'll keep going into powered furnace and the large chest. I should change that. Put the sterling engine up here and I need another a another lever lever. Waddling my merds. And a bit more charcoal. Okay, we should have enough for the hopper now as well. Which uh, uh, <laughs> I can't use with the position <laughs> that I've put it in. Basically what the hopper does, you put a whole heap of items in here and it will slowly filter them down. In this case I was going to filter it down into the pulverizer so I could have put a whole heap of different ores in there and had it all going through. There's some more iron ore. There we go. So that there's going to keep having pulverized iron. Hopefully, if that maxes out, it then only puts it into there. I'll wait and see how that works. Power, energy stored, maximum power. Hmm. Control status enabled. Oh. The switch was turning it off. The lever. Move you there. Oh, yep, can pick it up. So I'll end up moving all this around and using pipes just so that I don't have to have it right next to each other. And excellent. Oh, that's coming along very quickly. Let's see what happens if. I put something else. Let's get rid of you. Like some lead. Pulverized lead up there. Do we have any of this iron wasted? Will it drop? Just drop out of the machine? Or will it only come into here? Ah, there's two red spots. So the first red spot is going straight up. The second spot must be the one that is going to the chest. Is it? No? Doesn't seem to be getting in the way. Oh, that's very good. Well, if I move you around to the back probably get some pipes coming in here from a chest. But I'll have to muck around with all that, work out what I want. It's probably going to be 
next episode though so thank you for joining me for this episode hopefully you enjoyed if you did like subscribe and leave a comment and I will see you next episode bye bye